My name is Stacy Annan and I'm the president of the Washington State Board Society. I'm here in Ellensburg, Washington for a second of two workshops that we're offering. Uh, we've been here since the 25th of July and today's the 27th, our last day. We've got a few classes just finishing up. So we have been learning about gourds from uh, a carving perspective. We had a couple power carver teachers here, wonderful work. Uh, we had a teacher teaching burning techniques and ink colors, and then another teaching the same kind of burning ink color, but using pictures that we all take when we're off on vacation or pretty pictures when we're just walking around our town. So how do you translate those kinds of images onto a gourd? And then we had a great teacher, she's always sold out, who uh, uses half a large gourd and makes masks out of those using feathers. Uh, this year, we were lucky enough to have Feather Company come and join us from Montana who supplied uh, legal feathers for gourds. So the teachers that joined us here this, uh, at the Washington State Gourd Society workshops include um, Diane Frederick, who's uh, the teacher behind me, if we're looking at the picture, uh, Fran Ladrow, Jan Martinez, Kate Franchmon, myself, Stacy Annan, Denva Todd, Liz Meyer. So Diane Frederick uh, taught an ocean drum with a C motif.
There are so many different varieties or shapes of gourds available out there in the community. Um, when I say community, I'm talking about the whole state of Washington, the rest of the country. But uh, we have gourds that we work with that are called canteen gourds. And they're, just as you would expect, they're canteen shaped. Then they're cannonball gourds, and those are uh, shaped like a grapefruit, perfectly round, pretty dense. Uh, basketball gourds is another large shape, uh, round, perfect shape. Then there's uh, Mancala, and those look like a Klingon. They've got a long curved handle and lumpy and bumpy, and they're unattractive. However, some of the artists have created some incredible art using that particular gourd. Um, what's particularly popular among teachers in Washington State is the apple gourd because you can paint it red and it looks like a perfect apple. And since we grow a lot of apples here, it's wonderful. Then there are, uh, let's see, there's just so many dipper gourds that are available, long handle with a bulb at the end. Some people use them as scoops. And there are uh, kettle gourds. There's African kettle gourds that can get quite big, actually. Some of the gourds have grown so large that some, uh, there's an artist in Eastern Washington that has used them as coffee tables. She puts a round piece of glass on top. And the art is incredible. So it's not for everyone, but it's an incredible canvas. So there are many, many different kinds of gourd shapes out there. And if folks are interested, our website has a great um, representation of all those gourd uh, shapes. It's uh, W-A. G-O-U-R-D-S-O-C-I-E-T-Y dot O-R-G, Wa Gorge Society dot org.